Hi Zintle, I hope that you're well. Thank you so much for your question regarding solving for x. And I've seen that the question involves some quadratics. The first step is going to involve us multiplying the variables in front of the brackets into the brackets. So 3x times x gives us 3x squared. 3x multiplied by 3 gives us minus 9x equals to 4 times 1 is 4 minus 4x. We're then going to take all the terms over to one side in order to make things easier. So we've got 3x squared minus 9x plus 4x minus 4 equals to 0. So we then have 3x squared minus 5x minus 4 equals to 0. And there's different ways in which you can now solve this, either through factorization or also using the quadratic formula. But I see that because you've asked another question related to quadratic formula, I'm going to use that method, method in order to solve this. So the quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And in this case, the a is 3, the b is minus 5, and the c is minus 4. So I'm going to split this up into two different solutions. The first one is going to be minus b, which is minus minus 5, plus or minus square root of b, which is minus 5 squared, minus 4, the a is 3, and the c is minus 4. And this is all going to be over 2 times 3. So we can simplify the top into, and why I say these two solutions, because we've got a plus and a minus. So the first solution I'm going to have is going to be the one with the plus. So I'm going to call that number 1 here. So it's going to be 5. And it's going to then be plus, and I'm going to sort that square root out. So it's going to be 25, and then we've got 4 times 3 times 4, and you can calculate that quickly, which gives me 48. So 25 plus 48 is 73 over 6. And for this one, you're going to be getting a decimal answer. So... You can calculate that for me. And I've got an answer here of 2,26 to two decimal places. The second answer that we have is going to be, remember the one with the minus, so it's going to be 5 minus square root of 73 over 6. And you can calculate that for me. Yes, that gives us negative 0, 0,59. And these are the two solutions of the equation that you've given me. I hope this helps your understanding. Feel free to ask further questions related to this topic. And have fun trying questions related to solving quadratics on the Watobi app as well. All the best.